An ender pearl is an item in Minecraft that can be thrown. When it lands somewhere, the player is teleported to its landing location. It could also be used to craft eyes of ender, which are required to access the end. It's pretty fun just to play around with ender pearls, especially if they weren't so hard to acquire, and I feel like it would be fun to try and add them into Game Builder Garage. So I created this sample world where you have an objective of reaching the chest on the second stone platform. And the only way we're really gonna be able to do that is by adding in an ender pearl that will help us to throw the pearl up onto the platform and teleport to it. So we start out with this basic first person setup where the camera is attached to an object over the person's head. Everything is set to invisible. And the first thing we're gonna do is add an object to give this pearl a physical form. Right now, I just have a little texture that I drew. We're gonna attach the texture to the object and set it so that the texture faces are only on the X and Z center. Then we'll go over to the object and we'll switch it so that it's only movable and solid and that it's in the shape of a sphere. We'll also decrease the size. I ended up with 0.3 just to see what it would look like. And we'll go into the game and just make sure that the pearl looks reasonable. Now we'll start to work on the pearl throwing mechanic. Now we don't want to throw directly out from the screen since that doesn't look really natural. So we're going to end up creating a hinge mechanism to throw it at an angle. But first we're going to add two teleport objects, an entrance and an exit. The entrance will be set to teleport spheres so that it only teleports to ender pearl. With the teleport exit, we'll set the physics to reset and we'll change the launch speed to about 15. The size doesn't really matter. And we'll change the launch direction to Z positive so that it's launching forward. We'll also change the connection point to Z negative Z positive so that it's in front of our throwing mechanism. We're gonna add in our first person head node on to keep track of the origin point of the camera. But instead of attaching it directly, we're gonna add in two small spheres and an X hinge node on to create a sort of bent throwing arm to get a good angle. Our first sphere object with a connection point of center center set to only movable with a size of about 0.4 all the way around. And we'll make two of them. Then we'll add in an X hinge and connect them all together in a line, starting with the head node on and ending with the teleport exit. Then we just need to set an angle on the hinge. I've played around with it and I came up with negative 20. That's a 20 degree upward angle. And we'll set the angle on the hinge by clamping down the range to negative 20. So it'll stay rigid in this position. So that we can test this out, we'll add in a ZL button press node on and attach it to the teleport on the ender pearl. And we'll switch the output to on press. So you can see that works pretty well and it's satisfying and it feels like it does in Minecraft with a slight arc so that you could do things like throw it over hills and reach higher targets. Then we'll work on teleporting the person to the ender pearl. We'll start with a teleport entrance and attach it to the person object. And then we'll grab our teleport exit and attach it to the pearl itself. We'll make sure that the teleport IDs are set to the right channel, in this case B, and we'll make it so that it only teleports the person object. On the exit, we'll attach it to the Y negative, Y positive, so that it is above the pearl whenever it hits an object. And in this case, I'm gonna reset physics and apply a small upward force on the Y positive to help the player kind of reorient their position once they land somewhere new. Then we'll add in a touch sensor, which will help determine when the pearl has hit an object. We'll change the size so it's slightly larger than the pearl itself. And we'll make it so that it's checking for objects that are in the game world. We'll also set it to while touch so that it sends a constant output. The reason is we want the touch sensor and the button press to both go into the and node on. But we don't want to cause some weird glitches where if you launch the ender pearl against a wall and it's really close by, it might get buggy. So what we're going to do is use a very short timer into a flag node on. This flag is going to tell us when it's been enough time that the ender pearl can activate from being thrown. So we'll put the flag into one of the and inputs. And once the pearl touches an object and it's been airborne for long enough, then we'll teleport to player and we'll turn off the flag to reset that state. So it's looking good so far. The last step is to make the ender pearl disappear once it's actually touched an object and brought our player in. So we're gonna add another teleport entrance, attach it to the pearl, make sure that it's on the correct teleport channel C, and we'll add the teleport exit somewhere off screen in some kind of phantom zone so we don't see it anymore. 
we'll add a 0 0.01 one frame timer before we activate the pearl be gone teleport so that the pearl has a chance to teleport in the person before it goes away. Lastly, we're just going to add in our flourishes like sound effects and visual effects, and we're done. It really is satisfying to use and try and get an accurate throw. And we're able to finally get to our chest over here, and I can see using this for other gameplay elements and things like platforming.